Greetings, friends. We want to share an important ministry update with you. We covered your prayers as we seek God for a new president for the ministry. Due to Elias's demanding role with AABF, he will no longer be serving as president and CEO, but will continue to oversee the African continent. And we are grateful for his commitment. In the interim, I've stepped back into the role until a new president is chosen by our board. The Prayer Covenant celebrates its first quarter in 2024 with 86,755 children impacted with the Prayer Covenant, 15,433 first-time decisions for Christ. In addition, in India, another 49,178 children were reached, equipped, and mobilized to share the gospel, resulting in 15,000 252 first-time decisions for Jesus. This month, our partner for the Middle East will hold prayer covenant training programs in two locations, in Cairo, Egypt, and Upper Egypt with over 200 children's ministry leaders. A training in Tunisia is scheduled for mid-June, so please be praying that God will be glorified in these crucial, strongly Islamic areas of the Mediterranean. Our Latin America team just launched the Prayer Covenant in Argentina, and our European leaders are scheduled to formally launch the Prayer Covenant in Romania and Moldova this coming autumn. So new translations are also in the works, including Romanian, Polish, and German, the second most spoken language in Europe. Our crew partners overseeing Southeast and South Asia are ministering to children in the slums and resettlement areas in the Philippines, ministering holistically by providing food and vitamins to the children. Their passion is to see every child everywhere discipled to become a faithful, prayerful, and joyful follower of Jesus. And not just in the Philippines, but in Laos, Myanmar, Cambodia, Vietnam, Bangladesh, and many more countries. In the West, we can't begin to understand the daily struggles these kids and leaders face, but are grateful for the hearts of our leaders who seek to minister holistically to each one. We also celebrate their new partnership with Operation Mobilization. They met with the staff of the Doulas Hope ship docked in Manila Bay and trained their team. In North America, a preschool version of the Prayer Covenant is being developed that will allow us to transmit the pillars of radical discipleship to this key age group uh, in an even more effective and direct way. So please stay tuned for updates in the coming weeks and months. Know you are loved and prayed for. Our Africa team prayed for each of you by name during the three days of prayer in April. Let us know how we can be praying for you and do keep all of our leaders around the world and these precious children in your prayers. We are forever grateful for your partnership in the gospel. God bless you.